I've been doing uh, different types of variations for chest. I haven't just been doing presses all the time because presses are my preferred movement. I like to do uh, dumbbell presses and bench presses, you know, flat, incline, and in rare occasions, you know, I'll do decline and stuff. But one thing I wanted to show you today is, is something between a fly and a press. It's a, you could call it a dumbbell fly press cross or whatever you want to call it. I really call them dumbbell flies because I think this is the way dumbbell flies should be done. Uh, but the thing is that the reason why I bend my arm so much in it, uh, in flies, is because it does protect the shoulder joint and at the same time it protects the bicep tendons, right? So if you, if you do a, a fly and you straighten your arms too much, then all the stress is on the bicep tendons and on the shoulders, right? But what I want to do is put the stress once again, you know, on the chest and not on the joints, right? Like the t-shirt says, you know, stress the muscles, not the joints. We're train the muscles, not the joints. So it's, it's just like this, train the muscles, not the joints, right? But I see guys straightening and then they're going all the way down and stuff. And what's happening is that they're actually getting more tendon problems than they are actually getting muscular gains from that. Okay, so bear this in mind when you see me do the flies for today. But the nice part about uh, varying things up is when you vary your exercises up, you'll notice that you'll get more results from doing presses when you are doing presses because you're actually hitting different muscle groups with flies and different variations and different exercises. You're actually gonna hit different parts of the torque curve or different weak links, I guess you could say, in a muscle. And as you hit these different weak links, you're gonna get results. So it's important for you to be well-rounded as a bodybuilder, okay? So what I start with is just, you know, just easy. This is like yoga for me. This is like just 25 pounds, it's nothing, right? So I just do this, you know, just, to, just get, uh, you know, used to being in the gym, you know? Just when I start, the whole purpose is just to get a stretch and to get a little bit of blood flow in the joints. In case you haven't done so already, I have a friend that I'm starting a YouTube channel for, and uh, he's getting a guy ready for a bodybuilding show coming up pretty soon. You know, it's an IFBB show, it's not, uh, not a natural show or anything like that, but you know, this guy's a trainer, he trains athletes for various types of bodybuilding shows and fitness contests. So uh, what I'm doing is actually covering uh, this one process of how he works with some of his clients through this uh, YouTube channel. So I'll put the link up down, I'll put the link up above, and you can take a look if you want. So here I'm using 70s. 70s won't be too hard for me. But lately I've been, lately I've been sticking to higher repetitions. You'll notice sometimes when I come up, I'll rotate the dumbbell in a little bit like this because it's like I'm internally rotating a little bit. Just a little bit, just to get the stress more on the chest because the pec is an internal rotator. So again, you can see that I'm bending the arms quite a bit, almost like a press, except with the press I'm pushing with the triceps. You see, I'm helping get the triceps to help the movement, but with fly, I'm just focusing on this arcing type motion, see? And keeping the tension on the chest. So I wanna feel it on the chest the whole time. I don't want the tension to ever leave the chest. So this would be an example. See, just holding the arms up like this, that's the chest tension leaving. You don't want the, the tension to leave the chest. Constant tension. Now the nice part is about doing these stretch and light kind of days, you know, it's almost like weight training yoga, <laughs> is that uh, you basically just get a chance to just feel the muscles, just develop a relationship with the body. You know, not every day has to be a PR day. Not every day has to be a heavy weight day. And not every day has to be a compound movement day. But every day has to be a connect to the body day. That's, that's the point. I did some heavy bench yesterday, and uh, yeah, this is great. This feels great today because I did the benches yesterday, right?
So sometimes I just slow it down. Again, the same principle applies. Constant tension. So I like to do some bent over rows at the gym. Uh, I like to do uh, like uh, bent over barbell rows, bent over dumbbell rows, but sometimes it's good to do it with a dumbbell on uh, a bench so you're supported. Another technique I'll use from time to time is I'll take a super lightweight, like 20 pound dumbbells, and I'll decide to do three or four sets of an exercise, but I'll only take about 10 seconds rest in between each set. So it just burns the muscle out in just a different way, right? So again, it's not always heavier, bigger, heavier, heavier, heavier. Sometimes it's about short rest, lots of reps, or as many reps as you can do, and you get that deep burn just in different muscle fibers. So again, those of you doing French curls like this, that's probably why you have elbow problems, right? Because when you come down here, it's all the stress is on the elbow. I bring it back, so the elbows are facing the ceiling. Elbows always facing the ceiling, right? This weight might be too light for me right now, but we'll see. Okay, so I'll just rest about 10 seconds here. Maybe longer if I'm lazy. And then I'll go again. So you get a totally different pump. You get a totally different pump from this exercise, doing it this way. It's not more right than the other way, but it's just different. So it hits different muscles, right? You want to hit as many different muscle fibers as possible. Wait 10 seconds now again. Almost there, almost there, just one more set. Lightweight, lightweight. <laughs> Literally it's lightweight. It's not like a Ronnie Coleman lightweight, this is really lightweight, but. <laughs> so try some pump, see? Try some pump now, eh? 
nice pump. See, this is about just pumping that blood in there. It's not always about how, how heavy you can go. It's about getting that pump, right? I'm about as pale as a bag of milk right now, but kind of hard to see any definition. Not to mention the fat, of course, but. Okay, this is a exercise I like to do, just partial rep dumbbells. And this came about mostly because of my torn bicep, my left side there. And the reason why is because I want to keep the tension on the biceps because when I come down all the way, then it seems like it leaves and then stress transfers to my shoulders or to the brachialis in the, in the forearm. So sometimes I like to do a variation of curl like this. It just focuses the pump on the brachii. So it's important to start this off light because you know, every time I stop the dumbbell, that's hard on the bicep, right? So you want to make sure it's kind of warmed up. You kind of find your own groove. Constant tension, right? Unless I'm not rotating in or anything, I'm just keeping the tension on the biceps there, on the brachii. The part that is a peak, the part that makes a big peak on the bicep, you know? That's the main muscle belly, the brachii. It's constant tension, I mean, even with light weight, it's not easy. It's pretty hard, actually, when you just stop it part way. It's so much easier when you come all the way down, actually. Like I said, find your own groove. <clears throat> See right here? It's like it does a little bit of swing, right? I can get and the tension actually leaves the bicep when I'm down all the way. <clears throat> like this or one legged squats. I'm not doing extremely heavy weight or anything. I'm taking my time and it, a lot of it is about uh, grooming the muscles and building the coordination and getting a good stretch uh, but at the same time not necessarily focusing on weight like the rest of my workout today. It was just more about a pump, more about getting the stretch and you'd be surprised how much these types of workouts contribute to overall strength and endurance on the days that you do go heavy. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out my website naturalgallantbodybuilding.com. There I'll have mp3s for purchase of workouts and workout music. So take care for now and I'll see you next time. <laughs>